In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Story Monarch. Now, after you choose the app from the dashboard, take in here to the Home tab, and we can see all of the available templates. Now, as we hover over each, you can see we get a little preview. If we choose one, see a bigger version. We can see how long it is, how many scenes it has. Let's use this one. Let's create the video. And we're taken to the editor. While we're on scene one, you can see all the things that we can customize, all this text. Let's customize our logo. We can either click here, click here. Taken to our library. These are any of the previous images that we've used before. Otherwise, we can hit browse. Find one on our computer. Let me try this one. Select it. Now we can crop it. Oh, it'll automatically resize. Let's choose this logo. Let's change some of this text. The flight code. You can see it kind of overlays over the top of the old text to show you it's going to be updated. Let's go to the next scene. Scene two, we just got an image. Let's click this. Throw a beach picture on there. Choose. Looks good. Next scene. Another image. We'll just keep this image. We'll keep this image. And now we're on to music. Now this is the default track that comes with this template. We can change it to any of these. This one's nice. Let's hit the button. That's our new track. We hit next. And we're ready to render. You can see we're taken to the projects tab. Here's our new project. It's rendering. Here's some previous ones. Let's take a look. If we click. And play it. We can also download it, save it to our computer. We can delete it or we can edit it and make changes. Thanks for watching.